Right, it's April 2011 and I'm just taking us on a journey, a cycle ride actually, that I did recently to Chedzoy, one of several churches I did that day as I explored the Somerset countryside, something that I'd done a long time ago as a small child, cycling with friends around churches and putting our name in the visitors book. Anyway, here I come to Chedzoy. One of the most famous events of the church's history was the Battle of Sedgemoor on the 6th of July 1685 when the Duke of Monmouth led his pitchfork rebellion on a midnight raid on the Royal Army at Western Zoyland. The Duke was the illegit illegitimate son of Charles II and was attempting to seize the throne of England after the death of his father. The rebels marched across the moor in deep silence close to Chedzoy. They are said to have heard the church clock strike the hour as they passed. Um, going, I, I later go on to Western Zoyland where there's a lot more history um, within the church and actually at the site of the battle which I also visit and that will be in a later video. But this is a very um, beautiful church, it's full of history. It's um, over 700 years old. It's had many patrons, including Henry VIII, Henry VII, the Earls of Salisbury and Pembroke. And it was involved in the English Civil War. And, um, you know, it's got lots of very interesting features with the inside, includes, including the massive pillars that you'll come across of the 13th century early English Gothic architecture. Um, you know, thick columns, you know, very strong looking, very bold. Um, what else can I say? Yeah, there's just lots of lots and lots of features here that are, are amazing for us to see. So I've done a, a variety of um, photographs to start this um, little video and then you've got me actually arriving inside the church where I do a little talk. I'm not an expert but here we go. Right this is Sheila. I've arrived at Chedzoy, St Mary's <coughs> and um, it, fortunately it was open so I was able to come in. I met uh, the treasurer of the church who was a bit concerned because of the gate and the swallows getting in but and um, I've, res I've uh, we res resolved that. Um, and I'm just having a look at this beautiful church. Lovely marble steps leading up to the altar here. Of course, I'm not an expert on church archaeology or anything. This is just a normal individual reliving her childhood, really, coming back to this church. As a child, we used to cycle around the churches when we were about nine, ten. Always loved churches. Somewhere about 48 years ago, there'll be my signature in a visitor's book. Because we always used to like to put our names in to tell everyone we'd been. That huge cross suspended there. Yeah, it truly is magnificent, this is. And it's nice that there's somebody quickly on the spot if uh, when you've got somebody visiting. Because churches do suffer from, um, you know, with people nicking stuff. It's a lovely altar, isn't it? I'll just turn these lights out now. I've done lots of photos, by the way. Lovely carved pews here as well. Bronze or brass chandeliers. It's always nice to see it in the light and out of the light, actually. You get different images, different perspectives. There's a grand organ there with a beautiful stained glass window behind it I think that you can't really see it's a shame about that really isn't it I might get a view of that from the outside 
I love these pillars as well. Strong, strength in them. With the candle holders. Embracing the pillars like that. That's a good idea, isn't it? It's another little... Um, Ultra thing there. I've got a booklet. This is the Stradlings here. This is to John Jeans Stradling. Died 26th of January 1758. Age looks like three years or something. It might be more than that. Oh, no, there's another one. Age one. Richard Stradlin. Died 1784. Age 71. Also Sarah, wife of Adam Stradlin. So that's the Stradlins and that one there. Stradlin family. I've noticed George Oakman Mullins, MA, for 35 years, rector of this parish, who departed this life at Western Super Mare, August the 23rd, 1895, in his 66th year of age. Oh, he might be buried at Milton Road. I'll have to look out for him. That one's not very clear, but it might be in the booklet. That's a lovely view there, where you get the the different pillars, all giving you a, a different image of the power of the church. And that lovely door, carved door, it's beautiful, that. It's very well maintained, very well loved. I love that one, the apple blossom in that window, that's lovely. I currently have to keep the net gate shut because swallows get in, they have trouble getting them out. So I always put my bike in the porch because, you know, if, if it gets seen, it might get stolen. I would be stuck then. That's a nice little door there, look. There's another image there. I can hear a clock ticking. That must be the tower. I don't know what time it is. I haven't got a clue, actually. That's probably the... Yeah, they never leave the towers open. You can never get up them. You've got to get permission. I'm going to be doing that separately, um, eventually. Right then, over and out, folks, because I've got Western Soyland to do, but I'm going to do a little video of the outside of the church as well in a minute, so over and out. <laughs>